Whatever gear you choose and whether you use lures or baits, targeting our pink snapper in relatively light gear is one of the most exciting ways I know of securing a few meals of succulent self-caught seafood. Thank you mother for the rabbits! They're a magnificent fish to catch, to look at and to eat. So come out with me now on my good mate Glen Booth's boat, Wicked Weasel. We'll show you some tricks and also share a way to make anchoring much easier, even without a winch. Glen and I are headed out of Coffs Harbour on the New South Wales north coast at first light. We're on our way to some reef patches located in about 40 metres of water. Once we get there, Glen sounds the area in search of good signs of life above the seabed, then drops his anchor. Anchoring and establishing a sparse but steady burly trail is a great way to catch snapper just about anywhere. I'm using a bit of a complicated rig here consisting of a bait sweetened Baku Baku jig with a second baited dropper above it. I'm fishing it off a Shimano Tranks bait caster and an old Lucanus rod. And no sooner does the rig hit the bottom and I'm on. That's the right kind. Feels like a pretty good fish too. It takes a while to wrestle them up out of 40 metres and they fight all the way. Yeah, it's a red. Got him clear of the bottom now. Probably only, probably only take me half an hour to get the hooks out of that net now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it is the downside of it. <laughs> it is the downside. Good, good, good. This is a fairly average red of a couple of kilos. The perfect eating size in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's alright. <laughs> We're sticklers about caring for the catch, and that begins by Icky Jimmy brain spiking every keeper fish to instantly kill it. Knowing exactly where to spike each fish comes with experience, but there's also an excellent app that you can use, and I'll list it in the description in the comments. Next we bleed the fish by either cutting several of its gill arches or severing the entire throat latch assembly. This really improves the flesh quality. We keep the burly going, adding small pieces regularly to the trail. Glenn's fishing two outfits, including a lightly weighted bait off his trusty old Alvi setup. And that's the one that goes off next. Glenn's a huge fan of this longer rod and side cast reel, and it's not hard to see why. It's a killer outfit. Boothy keeps nice, smooth pressure on the fish, and pretty soon we get our first glimpse of colour on another lovely keeper pinky. Oh, they're quality. Very good. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, good stuff. My next hookup isn't as big, <laughs> but it's a very welcome addition to the catch. Pearly of the day. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah. yeah. This is a pearl perch, a smaller kissing cousin of the esteemed West Australian Jewfish, and in my opinion, almost as much of a premium table fish. There are few things swimming in our seas that I'd rate ahead of the delectable pearl perch. Yum. I haven't icky jimmied too many of these before, but I managed to hit the right spot first go. Mm. 
Found it. There's not much waiting between bites now, and Glenn's next one is a ripper. Ooh. <laughs> a cupped palm pressed under the spool is the perfect drag on a side cast, <laughs> although we're not sure if Glenn's going to stop this one before it reaches the sanctuary of the reef. Ah. Has he found the bottom? Not yet. No, he might. No. Are you getting his head? Made the doggy's dish spin. <laughs> I keep my line in to give Glenn some space and grab the landing net. This is clearly a very good fish. We're both keen to see it. He went hard. Oh, I did my best job to knock him off and I couldn't. Ah, oh, that's got some weight. Oh, mate, that's a good snapper. Oh, Beauty. Pull that one out and give us a look at him. Are oh, you on the two hooks? Oh, lovely fish. At 4.5 kilos or 10 pounds on the old scale, this one's definitely above average for the area. Again, Glenn brain spikes the fish and then bleeds it. We'll let them bleed out for 10 minutes or so before placing them in an ice slurry. Oh. Yeah. I'm on again and while it's not in the league of Glenn's previous fish, it's still nothing to sneeze at. And there he is. You do. Thank you. One of them. Weirdo jig. Yeah. <laughs> Just having good nick. They're really heavy for their length. A bit of barra trauma. After being spiked and bled, it'll join the rest of the catch in that slurry of seawater and ice. Oh, 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 what have we got? Oh, what have we got? That's something a bit weird. Might be brown. No, no, silver. Might be two of them. Ooh, not a big flathead, is it? Wobbly dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was something like that. I just, yeah, I'm good on them. <sighs> Dueling with banjos. <laughs> hey, they can't all be snapper. Pretty. But even unwanted bycatch like this banjo shark deserve to be handled with respect and released in a healthy condition. And away he goes. The bite's slowed a little bit now, so Glenn opts to make a move. But he won't be hauling that heavy chain and anchor up out of the depths by hand. He has a large buoy running on the anchor line via a big stainless steel ring. He passes the anchor line back to me and we pay it out astern as Glenn motors ahead back up current. The rope runs through the buoy under the ring and the boat quickly hauls the chain and anchor straight up to the surface. Rope is then easily recovered 
cupboard and coiled on the deck by packing up slowly. If you get it right, the anchor should be sitting nicely right under the buoy in that stainless ring and it can be all lifted aboard with ease. It's a great system. Glenn sounds out a new spot, locates the boat up current from it and deploys the anchor and buoy again. Note just how much heavy chain he uses too. That's a big part of the secret. Using this system, it's no real hassle to make half a dozen or more moves in a single morning. And this one pays off immediately. I've switched to my lighter spin gear and this fish is proving to be a real handful. Geez, they go hard. There he is. Yeah, he's not bad. Oh, it's not bad at all. <laughs> He's got a bump on his head. Oh, knobby. Thank go. you. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that's a lovely fish. Yeah. A proper lump. <laughs> what a ripper. That's great. I'm really impressed with my new Icky Pick brain spike too. It makes the job so easy. I'll put some details here and down below about where you can find them. A couple of happy snaps and we decide to call it a day. We've got more than enough fish for several wonderful meals now and the synchronized swimming display by our dolphin escort on the way back to the harbour is the icing on the cake. It's been a terrific morning. Until next time, tight lines, and if you liked this one, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Cheers.